Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today I have a fun cookie mix in a jar project. Sadly, you won't see me making the cookie mix. You'll just see me making the tags that go on the cookie mixes. Anyhow, um, you can check out Bakerella's blog to see these cookies. They're called cowboy cookies in a jar. So those are awesome. In any case, what I'm going to do here is I've started to make my um, autumn tag and I'm using a variety of inks and I'm stamping super fast because I have to speed it up like four times. I wish I could move that fast in real life, but I can't. Anyway, um, that gold color is called Gold Rush by Close to My Heart. The green is Olive by Close to My Heart. Let's see what I'm stamping here. This looks like Cranberry from Close to My Heart. And the final color will be Saddle. I'm actually cleaning off my stamps. Um, they're stamp cleaner and a stamp scrubber that Close to My Heart has. And um, I'm not a big stamp cleaner, just between you, me, and the fence post. But um, with something like this, you really want to clean it off in between go-arounds. The other thing you want to do if you've got a project like this is always start with the lightest color ink and then work to the darkest because that's going to... Um, if you run into any trouble, it's not going to show up. Here I'm making my own tag, and you might say, really, the Cricut lady, why are you making your own tag? Well, because this is like two and a half by five and a quarter, and I was going to have to go in the craft room and stretch one out, and you know, this takes three seconds to really do. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make some corners. You cut off one side, and then you hold it up against the other side, and a more patient person would put a pencil mark and then cut, but then that's not me. So I just hold it up there and cut it. And then you have like a perfectly cut tag that way. So that's my sneaky way to get around that. But really I was um, just looking for time. time. And also I know a lot of you guys don't use the Cricut Craft Room, so it doesn't you know, help if I show you a tag I cut there that I had to custom make. Okay, now to move on, um, this is an idea that was presented um, test from close to my heart uh, which was to go ahead and slice using the trimmer definitely use the trimmer don't try this with your scissors it really is not going to work out well just go ahead and start trimming off different parts of these different stamp pieces um, to make kind of a subway art look now what's kind of fun about this is you're left with all these random pieces well you could make quite a few tags this way just highlighting different words with the different colors so it's kind of a fun project pretty simple. So basically just went through, um, randomly chose um, different, you know, different little sayings on here for different colors. Um, the other thing about it too is that um, I'm going to pop up some of these also with some pop dots. Some, some sections will be popped, some sections won't. Um, something funny I got to tell you guys. I wasn't really sure how good this was going to look, to be honest. I really was nervous about that. Oh, here's something, a little tip. If you got a really small little section to, you know, slice off, there's my favorite, the painter's tape. You guys know it. You love it. Maybe you plan better than this, so you don't need it, but there it is. <laughs> In any case, um, I didn't think it was going to look that great because it requires you cutting everything really precisely on the side. But you know what? It actually is really cute. It's a pretty cute look. So um, hopefully you'll try it. This stamp set is the stamp of the month this month here in September 2013, in case it's some other time you're watching this. And it's awesome because after your $50 purchase, it's just $5. And by the way, that's for each $50 purchase. So if you wanted to get a couple sets and you spent 100 bucks or you spent 150, you spent 150 bucks, you get three of these sets. Three, okay, it's gonna be the exact same set just between you and me, but you could give it away as a gift to a friend or whatnot. So something to keep in mind. So I've just done this autumn tag. There's also a winter one that you'll see at the end of the video. Um, again, if you want to see the cookie mixes, that's at Bakerella's blog. You'll have to Google that or you'll see it in my post about this. But um, it's pretty much, um, look up when you Google Bakerella cowboy cookies. That's what you're looking for. Um, I am not a food blogger. That's a very hard job. <laughs> this is plenty hard. So. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy all the cookies you may eat today. Take care. Bye-bye.